In this insect world, you need to be quick and agile. And being able to perform aerial acrobatics could be a lifesaver. You need to be a dragonfly. Queensland Backyard Bugs and Birds. Dragonflies and damselflies are in the order of Odonata. There are many different types and colours. The life of the adult is short, sometimes several months, sometimes only weeks, depending on the weather conditions. They spend more time as a larvae as it can take one to four years before it becomes an adult. Most of the time they don't die of old age but are caught by predators. Dragonflies have large rounded heads covered mostly by well-developed compound eyes that are so big they touch at the top of its head. These eyes are made up of 30,000 cells which gives them almost a 360 degree vision. They have legs that allow them to catch prey in flight, two pairs of long transparent wings that move independently and elongated abdomens. Their mouth parts are on the underside of their head and include simple chewing mandibles in the adult. Adult dragonflies breathe by drawing air into special breathing tubes in their bodies. These tubes are called spiracles. Dragonflies are agile and fast. They are an ambush predator. Their diet consists of other insects. They can judge the speed and position of a prey target and adjust their flight to intercept it, grabbing it with their legs and can eat it without landing. They usually stay near ponds, lakes, creeks or wetlands, as this is where they breed. They are mainly solitary, but will congregate near water. Some are perches that tend to make short flights and return to a preferred perch. Others are flyers that tend to spend the majority of their active periods on the wing. The male has two short tails on the end of his abdomen, which are used to hold on to the female during mating. They fit behind her neck like a key in a lock. Her abdomen turns upward to his thorax, where he has his sperm packet, and they join. He scoops out any remaining sperm before he introduces his, as females can mate with multiple partners during one season. Dragonflies are the only insect that can fly this way in tandem. Some dragonflies remain coupled and lay their eggs. The female dips her tail into the water and finds a soft stem, then puts a slit in it and lays her egg inside the stem. Some remain coupled and she lays her eggs while flying over the water. Others coupled, but then uncouple, and then she lays the eggs in the water. She seems to be bouncing across it, while the male watches over her and the fish have a feeding frenzy. Males are fiercely territorial, constantly flying their boundaries to keep other males from mating with their partner. The eggs hatch and become dragonfly nymphs. The new nymphs come out looking like little ghosts.
but it doesn't take long to start getting some colour. These larvae molt a few times as they grow. The nymphs are short and stocky. As they get older, they become darker and start to get their markings. The larvae breathe by sucking water into their abdomen through their rectum and moving it over their internal gills. They can push the water out very fast and this helps them move through the water, sort of jet propelled. They have the ability to snag prey at lightning speed with their extendable labium. They'll eat a huge variety of foods, including other insect larvae, tadpoles, fish, and they'll feast on other dragonfly larvae as well. The dragonfly larvae does an amazing job of helping humans by controlling the population of insects, such as mosquitoes and biting flies. Dragonfly does not pupate. It goes from larvae straight to adult. At the end of its larval stage, it crawls out of the water, then its exoskeleton cracks open and releases the dragonfly's body, which has been packed in like a telescope. Its four wings come out and they dry and harden over the next several hours to days. When it has dried, it flies off to complete the cycle. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.